Hello everyone. This is my Coach Rogue 25 handbag collection. And I wanted to just show you my collection. Actually, I almost purchased a Coach Rogue 25 in the color black earlier this year, a couple of months ago. So, uh, but I decided to not purchase that bag because I realized I had enough black handbags in my collection. So I didn't, I felt like this was more than enough. I do own three of the Coach Rogue 25s. And like I said before, I always, I'm very practical. So I, I feel that in order for me to have something in my collection, number one, I really, really have to love, 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 love the bag. Number two, I have to use the bag, okay? So that's the main thing. Uh, this one is in the color green, actually. This is a pink color called Taffy. And this rogue is in the color ox blue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, currently I'm carrying the green one right now. This is the one that I am currently using. I'm gonna make sure you can see it. I'm gonna kind of just show it to you. Okay, as you can see, it has the brass hardware, extra thick zipper pull on the outside. says coach top and bottom, and the zipper cuts wrap all around the purse. This purse has two handles, so you can carry it over the hook of the arm, or you can use these straps, and you can carry it as a shoulder bag, or you can attach these straps together and also carry it as a crossbody. Now, this handbag, and then one of my favorite features in a bag is feet. This handbag, and then at the bottom, let me turn it over here so that you can see. It says, make sure it focuses, genuine glove tan pebble leather, okay? So this bag has three ways that you can carry it. Like I said, you can use these handles and these handles are detachable. They're detachable. See the beautiful hardware here? Okay. So it has two outside slip pockets and the outside slip pockets are lined in real suede. And then also, of course, you have the 1941 hang tag. That's a feature on the bag as well. And I, as I said, I'm carrying this bag, so I have my stuff in here. On the inside, it has a slip pocket. And then you have the Creed on the inside of the bag. And I would have to take out the item so that you can see the inside of the bag. So let me do that right quick so you can kind of see inside. So now you can get a clear view into the inside of the bag. And on this bag, I'm gonna try to show you the creed. There's a little button snap closure pocket there. And let me see if I can get a good focus on the creed. And there's a creed. And of course, there's nothing on the other opposite side, as you can see. Now, this bag also comes with a crossbody strap, so I'm gonna show you that as well. The measurements on this bag is nine and three-fourth inches in length. So that would be nine and three-fourth inches going from here to here. Seven and three, four inches is the height from here to here. That is the height. And then the width on the bottom of the bag, here to here, would be five and a half inches. Now, this is the crossbody strap, okay? I'm gonna attach it so that you can see this adjustable 
and it's detachable. And as you can see, it says coach as well. And this is one portion of the strap. And also on the hardware, it also says coach. And this is what the back part of the strap looks like. And then you have, this is the other part of the strap here. Okay. Other side says coach. And you detach this strap and I pretty much keep it on the same place because like I said before, I'm a crossbody girl. So I love my crossbody bags and I love them a little long because I don't know, I'm just more comfortable with carrying my bag that way. So this detaches like this, okay? Wait a minute, hold on, let me get it right. Yeah, that's correct, that's correct. This attaches like this. And then it hooks in right there. See, it's got that little slider that goes over it there. Okay, this crossbody strap is thick and it's heavy, which means that when you put the crossbody strap on this bag, I'm gonna show you how to put it on the bag. It makes the bag even heavier. Okay, so if you have a back issue of some sort, you may not want to carry a lot inside the bag. Now, I don't carry, I don't can never carry my bags to capacity. I always, and I'm gonna uh, pull the, change these out just so you, I can put the crossbody strap on. Well, actually you can put it on and leave it on there as well. Let me show you. When you put this thick strap on and you just simply take that off, and you just simply hook it. Or we can hook it inward so it won't stretch, scratch the leather. Hook it inward so it won't scratch the leather. And then, like that. And then you can carry it as a crossbody as well. Okay. But this strap, is, it's a well-made, just like the bag, it's that ultra thick, high quality leather. There's also a slip pocket over here on this side as well. And then there's a credit card slot right here. But like I said, just like the bag is that extra thick, high quality leather, the strap is a thick, heavy strap. And when you carry this with this bag, with your contents in it, it does get a little heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and caution you about that. Now, my preference is to carry the smaller strap and because it's lighter and it doesn't make the bag, it makes the bag more comfortable to carry with your items in, if that makes sense. So what I like to do is just hook these together, which you can do actually the earlier rogues, of course these are considered fourth generation rogues and the one you see in the back here, and we'll talk about that one briefly in a second, it is a second generation rogue. So, uh, it comes with a little key piece on it, you know, and that's the differences between them. Uh, and then also the other difference is these handles don't lay flat on the outside, but as you can see, the handles on the taffy and the green roll, they're the same bag, just different colors. It lays flat. So when I take the thick crossbody strap off and connect the shoulder bag straps, now, I have a crossbody strap for the coach road, and it's a lot lighter crossbody strap. So this is my preference for carrying this bag as a crossbody. That's my preference because of the weight. Okay, but if you don't have any issues with your back or you know no reason to not carry a heavier strap, then this one here will be a more sturdy sturdy strap, but it's also heavier, okay? So, let me just show you kind of briefly 
the other bags and so you can see the colors like i said i'm not going to go into a lot of details on this one because it's basically the exact same but it's in a different color taffy the color is called taffy Beautiful, beautiful pink. And this one is an earlier model. And they're pretty much, all three of them pretty much the same size. This one seems to be a little smaller, but I believe the measurements are a little, this is the way it's made. I believe the measurements are pretty much the same. Um, this may be just a tad bit taller on both of these because they're the same bag. But this is the one of the earlier generation robes. And I got this one because I wanted the this little piece here <laughs> that was hanging on there. I like the look of that. But the thing I don't like about this bag is the handles. Now, the handles don't lay flat like the ones on these bags. And it makes it awkward when you're trying to get items in and out of these zipper pulls now you have to kind of let me just show you kind of make sure you hold that open you know kind of like that i mean it, it and it kind of see how that kind of leans and laps over and you can see here how closely that is there and there you know and kind of folds over this as well but okay so this bag has and you know, the bag on the inside of course it's got the same type of strap as the other two but it has the, the other thing I like about this bag is the fact that it has the snap closure and it has a zipper closure. Now this is a creed on this bag and you can see the fabric on the inside. Okay, let's see if I can show you the creed without taking out my stuffing. And that's a creed on that bag. Um, and then, of course, like I said, I showed you with the thinner strap here, it's the same concept on this one. But this one is a beautiful color, beautiful bag. And, of course, the zipper pulls. Since this is a different model, it has Coach on there, 1941. There you go. Okay. And this is my coach rogue handbag collection. I want you to finally see what this looks like on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my contents back inside. And I love these bags. I love the sturdiness of them. I love the thickness of them. They are very, very well made bags. And I truly enjoy these handbags. Let me just, I can just, I got my tag on the green one. So I will just go ahead and show you that information as well while I have it handy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my items back in. And just so you can see what it looks like on as a shoulder bag and a crossbody carry. Okay. So these are some 30s. These are, this is some ultra thick leather. Um, this is Coach's top of the line handbags. And actually you can tell the difference. When you purchase a Coach Road 25, you can see the quality, the heaviness of the details in the, in the leather. Now, like I told you in previous videos, my preference is pebbled leather. I love the, the thickness, the durability of it. I like things that are practical that I don't have to worry about scratching up. And I don't like baby in a bag. So that's why I have a preference for the pebbled leather. Just at an age now where I like being very comfortable and very casual 
and dip it on the side like that. If that's what you like, that works. Or you can take it, you can dip it in the middle. Okay. And then let them meet in the middle like that. Okay. Or you can take the handles and flip them in. And that's normally what I do when I carry this bag. I let my handles flip in because I'm normally carrying it as either a shoulder bag or a crossbody. And I'm really a crossbody girl. And this is pretty much the only shoulder bag that I enjoy carrying right now. I mean, it's so comfortable because the straps are so thin. It is a comfortable shoulder bag. And... I enjoy carrying this as a shoulder bag. So first I'm gonna show you it as a crossbody with the thinner strap, just so you can see what it looks like on. Then I'm gonna show it to you as a crossbody with a thicker strap. And then I will show it to you as a shoulder bag with the thinner strap. And then how you can carry it over your arm. Here's the bag as a crossbody. And I do have my contents inside the bag, so you can clearly see it is a very, this thin strap is a very comfortable crossbody. I hope you can see how it looks. Okay, now I'm gonna show it to you as a crossbody with the thicker strap. Here is it as a crossbody with the thicker strap. Let's look at it now as a shoulder bag. Again, I'm gonna detach these straps here and put them on again as a shoulder bag. So I'm gonna attach them here. And then attach this one here. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna attach this one on here and then attach this to the other side. And like I said, I don't like carrying shoulder bags anymore, but this is a shoulder bag that I love to carry. Hope you can see that. Now it does sit out because of the width, it is a little wide, but I normally carry my shoulder bag like this for my thumb underneath here, hand over, and so it works for me. Okay, last but not least, let me show it to you without the shoulder strap. Okay, here it is without the shoulder strap. And you can carry it over the arm. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.